Okay, today we're going to show you how to fix your Hitachi TV uh, if it won't connect with your Wi-Fi. The fixes we're going to show you today should work with all Hitachi TV models, including the Hitachi Roku TV. We're going to show you several methods uh, for fixing this problem. Um, if you stay with us all the way to the end of the video and try each of these methods, uh, there is a very high probability that uh, this problem will be solved for you. Okay, the first thing to try here is really the simplest, and in most cases, this one will actually work, so you might not even need to go on. Uh, just basically unplug your TV from the wall, wait about 60 seconds. Now, don't be impatient here. Wait the 60 seconds, and then plug it back in. This will reset your TV. Now, this is a lot different than switching the remote on and off, so do do it from the wall plug. Um, if this solves your problem, you're set. If not, let's go on to the next try. Unplug your router, wait 60 seconds, and then plug it back in. Now, before you check your TV, make sure your router goes back online. It'll go through a bunch of self-tests, and usually about two minutes later, uh, it'll be back online. If this solves your problem, great. If not, this last fix should almost definitely solve your problem. However, this is a factory reset, so it will return your TV to the same way it was when you first took it out of the box. For most models out there, including the Hitachi Roku TV, uh, you would choose Settings, System, Advanced System Settings, Factory Reset, and then Factory Reset Everything. For some of the older or less popular Hitachi models, you would use the steps listed here. That's our video for today. As always, thank you very much for watching, and please remember to subscribe.